When we started talking about acquiring the gene expert, we had a lot of support from our infection prevention team, the infectious disease docs, and it was a matter of doing what's best for the patient, but we could also improve nursing practice. At Catawba Valley Medical Center, we use interdisciplinary teams, and so infection our infection prevention committee is an interdisciplinary team. Leaders from infection prevention, medical staff, nursing, lab, respiratory pharmacy, those are all members of our um, committee. So recommendations such as the gene expert would come up through committee to administration and once it gets to administration we evaluate based on the committee's recommendation um, but also why did they make that recommendation. Once the word got out that we had received approval to acquire the gene expert the word spread and it was the first time in my experience that nurses cared about an instrument that the laboratory was getting. The nurses would stop me and say, when are we getting the machine? When is the machine coming? And it was just so amazing that everyone was waiting for this because they knew the impact that it would have, not only on patient care, but on, on the nursing practice. The Gene Expert was a unique opportunity because it's rare that you find a technology that you're gonna implement and invest in that impacts many departments within one organization. In 2012 is when we implemented the Gene Expert technology here, and in 2012 is also when I transitioned from working on the general medicine unit to infection prevention. So I had been on the side on the medical unit where we waited for two to three days for a culture to come back on a patient who we were screening for MRSA. When a patient comes into the hospital, um, if they've been in the facility within 90 days, we always put them on isolation to rule out MRSA, MRSA, um, so we automatically put the patient on contact isolation. It takes a lot more time for the staff. We have to gown up um, and it's, we're spending more time in these rooms that are on contact isolation because it does take more time. You know, it was frustrating sometimes as a nurse to have to dress in and dress out when you weren't really sure if a patient required isolation. And so then in 2012, when we implemented the Gene Expert, it was great to see how quickly we could find out if that patient actually was MRSA positive or MRSA negative and could be taken off of isolation. Here at Catawba, if we had a blood culture to alarm positive, we could uh, make a gram stain, note that it was gram positive coxine clusters, and we knew then that we could run the Cephe and MRSA uh, Staph aureus panel on the Gene Expert and rule out a MRSA or Staph aureus infection just with that one test. So they could either initialize treatment with a vancomycin, for instance, or they could stop a treatment of vancomycin, which you don't want to use unless you have to. Having more rapid tests available to your physicians and your pharmacy staff, you know, gives you tools and opportunities to help de-escalate uh, antibiotics more quickly, which is, is what you're trying to, the goal of any good antimicrobial stewardship program is to minimize exposure to unnecessary antibiotics. And knowing and information is important in this situation. The Gene Expert also offers a variety of tests, and so we have implemented many of the, that testing here at Catawba Valley Medical Center. So the MRSA screening, the pre-op screening, the TB testing, the C. diff testing, all of these tests impact very different aspects of patient care. C. difficile is now at, uh, used as a screening tool here at Catawba for any patient that has um, diarrhea episode. If a patient's in the hospital and they start having episodes of uh, loose stool um, and the doctors are concerned that it could be C. diff, um, we automatically put the patient on contact enteric isolation to rule out C. diff. With our C. diff testing, we've seen the impact mostly in, again, the time that it takes to see results. Prior to having the expert CDF, we were having to take three specimens to accurately and feel comfortable about what we were treating. So now we're able to do the one, and the doctors are confident with, with the one stool, the results of that, they're confident with that. So we can go with that and, and go ahead and treat the patient quicker. Time is money, and, and they're able to take care of the patient faster. They can't get that test that quick anywhere else, so they come here because they know 
the gastroenterologist send them here because they know we can give them that result in a hurry. When we saw that a group B strep test was available, we wanted to bring that on. We have a very active prenatal clinic and we're able to give the, uh, the prenatal practitioners group B strep response in an hour. They have a, a population where they really need to be able to provide information during the patient encounter. Being able to have a result and manage it and treat it in a timely fashion when I have the patient in front of me is very important. People that are traveling between Asheville and Raleigh will um, go into labor when they're here near Hickory. So they'll drop in and we do not have any records and it takes a while to contact that hospital and we can swab them quickly and have a GBS result which is very important to the um, health of the baby very quickly. We used to do our groupie strep and our um, gonorrhea and chlamydia screening and it would take um, several days to get results and now we can have results in like an hour. And that's really great. So we're just able to manage that whole level of risk for the fetus in a, in a hugely different and more efficient way. Group B strep, as many people know, is the leading cause of death for newborn babies. And we're able to really mitigate that with accurate and immediate results on the GPS culture. So we're thrilled with this technology. We have been able to bring leading edge technology into a community hospital laboratory. It's easy to use, it is rapid, and when it comes right down to it, it's all about the patient, doing the best thing for the patient. You know, just to speak to people who um, are considering implementing this, because it is very different, and the reality is that the benefits are so huge, and the inconveniences are so minimal, and the process to change time is very quick and you will be so pleased with having really more accurate results uh, and much faster that it is worth any minor inconvenience to change your order or to change your um, specimen delivery. It's very, very easy. I can't say enough how positively it has impacted infection prevention. It makes me feel good to know that we are receiving results quickly, we're able to implement care to these patients more quickly, we're able to um, put in the proper precautions more quickly, um, ultimately just providing better patient care. This technology is just one small example of what this hospital does to put patients first. And so I want to work in a place where patients come first and I can feel like I'm delivering good care and I can be proud when I leave and that I don't feel like things were compromised. I can't deliver this kind of care at all hospitals. As the lab administrator, I can provide better service to the physicians. The physicians can take care of patients faster. We're improving nursing practice. We are speeding care to the patients. It's a win-win for everybody. The Gene Expert is a great uh, system to implement in, in any organization uh, because of its impact on, on quality, patient experience, staff satisfaction. Um, there can be so many rewards from that one system. Yeah.